You know, it never ceases to amaze me how different the ocean can be. Just like a day or two ago, we were getting beaten to hell with massive winds, waves crashing all over the boat. And now, it's chill, man. We people celebrating all from my homeland Like my old man say, there's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother Lyrical Straight from the crew, out to the blue Previously on Delos. All right, so it is our sixth night at sea. There's some sort of a gnarly system catching up to us quickly. This is some crazy rhythm we're having here. We have these big waves crashing over us. Oh, that was big time. You can see Brian's face like as the waves going. Oh my God, that's going to be big. Oh, it is dying. Yeah. Just as uh, suspected. <laughs> so it's sunny day today, but I have never experienced so much salt on the boat. Like literally every millimeter of the boat is like has like a layer of salt on it. Look at all that salt. It's the first time we've been outside in a while, eh? What's going on, Brady? Oh, my hair is getting all ratted tatted up. What, what, what do you have in there? What do you mean? It's a dread. No, it's like dandruff or something. Oh, yeah, that's, that's just, oh, that's just dandruff. <laughs> <laughs> It's like crumbs. That's not, I'm, I'm gonna name my kid if I ever have a son. I'm gonna name it Dandruff. Damn. Yo, Dandruff, get over here. I've been wearing the same exact thing for about seven days. I've also just worn the same jersey, I think, since the day I got to this boat. And I've been washed once in probably like a month. Also, I'd love to have a shower. Girl talking about girls again. Oh, dude, I always catch me. Take time to breathe. Allow the life for sin. Let it move and expand. First act as man. Check it out, we've got the GoPro on the end of a pole, gorilla tape to the boat hook, and then we're gonna clip ourselves to the boat. Oh, both of you are going out. For safety. This is all. And then we're gonna go film the underside of the boat. Exhausted, bro. Dude, that thing has so much pull on it. Like, you put it in the water like this, and it the boat hook just flexes like that. And it's like, ah, and it smashes your fingers all up. But I think we got some shots, so we'll check them out. Can you see how fresh I look? Look at that. I had the most unbelievable shower. Um, yeah, in the captain's bathroom. <laughs> Um, the window was, the little window was open and I had the most marvelous sunset while I got to shower. Like, I've never, can't say I've never had the chance to do that. But look at it. That's what I had the pleasure of looking at while I scrubbed myself down. 
Feeling like a million bucks, so like, <laughs> you're like a new man. Yeah. We're motoring along and uh, right on course. It's pretty sweet. We even got the little backup autopilot working. R2D2. The backup autopilot in the house. It's a noisy little thing though. Look at it go. But check this out. This little island over here. There's Reunion. Yeah, 550 nautical miles. So we're looking at an arrival about four days time. Um, back. I'm so excited to see them and just run around on it and appreciate it for how still it is. <laughs> So it's almost 6 o'clock in the morning. I just had a cup of Nippon Soppa and I'm going to bed. Hopefully Dylan will have a good sunrise. And that day is one of the most beautiful moonsets that I've ever seen. It's glowing, I mean I know it's a night vision now, but that day is glowing as if it was the sun coming up. And then on the opposite side to the moon setting, we're at the start of sunrise. It's gonna be a good day today. Calm down, we're motoring. I think we have how long until the wind comes back? Like 10 hours or yeah, something? Yeah, something like that. So we're gonna try and get this furler motor apart and see if we can get it going. A few days ago, the furling motor for the jib stopped working. So Brian is just trying to hook up the furling system, like the manual furling system for mm -hmm. the Genoa. Because although this is working okay, it's a lot more convenient to push the button. Let's see if we can do this without dropping any parts in the ocean. There's no water in there. That's a good sign. So the next thing we'll probably do is uh, just check the voltage here at the terminals. Now that I've got the case off, I can put a, a voltmeter right on it. Okay, can you furl in for three seconds, please? Still good on both sides. So we gotta figure out we gotta figure out why that is. On one side it sounds like it is spinning but it's struggling a little bit. She says she smells something burnt. Okay go ahead and go downstairs and see if you can find it. Karen's got a nose like a hawk. <laughs> the hawks have good noses. Um 
I don't know. She can smell I, I, anything. A fox. <laughs> that nose like a fox. <laughs> so I think what I'll do now is I'll switch the wires and see if the voltage, the low voltage, follows the terminal on the motor. That way we'll figure out if it's the motor or if it's the relays downstairs. Okay, furl in continually. It's never straightforward, you know? Mm -mm. I think I might pull the motor off and take a look at the brushes in the cockpit though. Otherwise it's all looking good, eh, right? Yeah, I mean the brushes look good, the commutator is clean, like none of the windings look burnt. That's so I I think we see something. I don't know if you can see that wire right there. But see how it's moving? And it's kind of sometimes making contact and sometimes not. So see how it's, I don't know if it was supposed to be soldered or what, but that one should be connected to that wire right there. Yeah. This one, which goes to this brush. And I think that is a connection that may have been sometimes making contact and sometimes not. I put some electrical tape on that because it looks like the insulation has just gotten old and cracked. So I think we're gonna just try it for the next couple of days and see. But it was spinning before, so give it a shot, yeah? Okay. Right. You ready to pull? Uh-huh. Cool. So remember what Brian said about my hawk slash fox nose? Well, this was the thing I could smell. So what happened there, Bredsa? It looks like, well, this iridium's plugged into the 12 volt outlet down here. And the cord completely just, the charging port completely Holy fucking shit. melted. It just destroyed it. Oh no, man. How the fuck did that happen? The iridium happen? is fucked. Does it even turn on anymore? No. This thing is connected to a 12 volt outlet out here, which just goes through this little guy. Like a 12 volt cigarette lighter output. And that's it, and then it's just USB plugged in. So, there's fuses between that and everything else. So nothing else could have gone with it, but. So what does this mean for the rest of the trip, Ray? Well, luckily I checked weather this morning and notified reunion of our arrival, so. The weather looks good for the next three or four days. It looks consistent. So we're gonna go old school. We just have to sail by the weather and hope it holds, I guess. But it sucks because these things are expensive. They're like close to a thousand US dollars. And we can open it up, but I mean, it's, it's fucked. It's melted on the inside. So our SSB is not working either. So we're literally old school sailing now. But we'll sort it out when we get to Reunion. At least we're only three days away and the weather looks good to get there. So with the Iridium being fried and our SSB radio not working, we had no way of getting weather or communicate with the outside world. A bit scary. But like Brady said, at least we only had a few more days at sea before arriving in Reunion. The weather is finally nice. The sun is out and we're sailing downwind. And Karen made us a little Swedish treat. Ooh, that's good. The kalanakarka. Oh, the camera doesn't do it justice. It was a lot of fun. He's got chocolate all over his beard. <laughs> ah. It's so good. Oh, get, get a good bite of that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, that's a very mushy piece. <laughs> I love the mush so much. <laughs> it's gonna be a beautiful sunset. Sweet. <laughs> oh, look at that. Holy shit. That is crazy. We got our first fish. Hey. Yeah. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe just seared with some sesame seeds. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's been a nice day. Today we've had good downwind sailing. 
pretty much all day, constant breeze, and we're cruising along like eight knots, eight and a half knots, pretty sweet. We've got 315 miles to go. So we've got two beautiful egg fillets, but I'm only gonna use one tonight. And tonight we'll do big steaks seared with some sesame seeds. Mm. That is so tasty, it's divine. How big of steaks we want? Like butter. Dude. I'm so ready for this as a... Oh man, it's so good. Girls trying to be tantric eating. I'm trying to take it so slowly, bro. Like everything that you've taught me to be about being mindful and tasting things, this is like at its most extreme form. There we go, better. Good morning, it is I think our 15th day. The sun's just coming up, it's about 6.30 in the morning right now. And we're close, we're like 78 miles away from St. Pierre. What do you think, Bri? Sailing into another port. It was a wicked sail, man. It was gnarly, like, we saw crazy weather. Did you get scared at all this passage? Maybe that I was gonna paint the inside of the galley with my dinner, but other than that, no, not really. And it was also the second longest sail we've ever done. Killer Krill, you just spent, what, 15 days at sea? Yeah. After never really being on a sailboat before? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, bro? I, it feels like crazy. I can't believe we've sailed somewhere. I was telling Brian, like, like I've, I've only driven and flown places and I've sailed somewhere. <laughs> it's cool. It feels like well deserved, even though we're not even there yet. But I'm super, super excited to see land. Like, you see it. Look at what that is. Hey, boys. Land yeah, yeah. ho! There's no horn Land on this thing! Land ho! Come on up guys, check it out! Land! I see it! So we could, you guys want to go for a walk? Let's yeah. walk! Yeah. 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 <laughs> can we, All right, can we let's walk do it. and drink beer? Everybody, it seems funny. like the local thing to do. Up next, we explore the scene in La Reunion. Carol, what are you going to tell her? I'm going to tell her that she's as sweet as the sugar cane she's pressing. Oh, ha, ha. And hike to one of the most beautiful waterfalls in the world. <laughs> okay, so first thing in the morning. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> Hello. 
Like it? I like it a lot. You know, just put those down my butt crack. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> If, yeah. If Curl ever has a gang, it'll be called the sweet teeth. Yeah. The sweet teeth. <laughs> sweet teeth coming around. French girls. <laughs> Maybe there's some fairies living there we can go and play with. <laughs> 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 that looks magical. You think there's fairies on the island, bro? I don't know, man. Boatload of weirdos for six <laughs> <long days. laughs> Okay, roger that. Uh, merci beaucoup for your assistance, and we will be standing by on 6 8. <laughs>